Bill and I and Mr. Neimeyer first came to Lamplighter's Cave, it took us three times before we actually made the connection through. And that's really a part of caving. There's nothing that you should feel bad about if, in fact, you missed the passage or even didn't see the whole cave. Uh, if you enjoyed it and you, you learned from it, and I'm sure the next time you would go to the cave, you'd probably do things a little differently. That's a part of the sport. It's not something that you, you compare and you say, well, I'm better than you because we saw this and you didn't kind of thing. doing something for them. They grow, they mature. This is a wonderful experience for them. And I get a big buzz out of it. You have to watch out for everyone else. <laughs> That's right. Like it's if you're walking thing. along, the person in front, if there's a big pothole, you know, that you can find, you usually yell it back to no one else. Yeah, on Cooperation. Did you fall in that water from the beginning? Cooperation. Like some of those mud sides is impossible to get up unless you had someone to push you or someone to pull you out there. You never cave by yourself, do No. Never. How safe do you think it is? It's not safe. It's very it safe. It's safe if it's safe. done right. Very do safe. We, if the, if what are a few things that you have to do to make it safe? Make Wear sure a hard have hat. Sources of light. You gotta have more than two. If I didn't have a hard hat, you gotta have a hard hat. Sources of light and close extra batteries and stuff like that. Helmet is one of the main reasons. I had helmet. Now I can afford it. Knee pads. How many times do you hit your head in there? A lot. A lot. A lot. Couldn't count them. How is it? All your energy that you got? Like, no. Yes. Yeah. Does it really take a lot it's of energy? Not, it's yeah. tiring, but you get the energy back. Yeah, it's it's tiring like at the time. Like that. It's that one crawl. Is just... Oh, God. It is. It's really... One minute here in this humongous room, and then all of a sudden you can be, like, 
down on your hands and knees and you got your stomach slide down for 50 feet. Yeah, and sometimes they're really long. You bring munchies because you're down in the cave for six, long six to eight hours. hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's just red. Like um, the next day, you feel like you're going to die. Sometimes it's too long, especially if it's a hard cave. to go through and, like most girls who aren't really the outdoor type, who just go on the trip, you know, just to go who really don't like cave and stuff, really have a panic when they find out how difficult it is, when you go, you know, people who can't stand to be dirty, <laughs> they usually are the first ones out of the caves and stuff. Yeah. But then like, um, <laughs> they have to stay in there about five hours anyway, so they usually come out the most exhausted out of everyone. <laughs> Ten years ago when the cave club started, there was no girls. It was like 15 guys who were in the club. As the years went by, the girls got interested and, you know, the women's lib type and stuff, which was pretty good. So it was like half But now there's like, high. there's more girls going it on the trip It went too far. <laughs> it's yeah, like we 80% went girls and 30, 20% guys. Is that your chair? No. Yeah.